Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactor.com and this is going to be a different type of tutorial. My lady uh, Lydia, Flofe, and I moved into a new apartment uh, about a month and a half ago, yeah? Uh, yes, except you've only been here for like because travel's a thing. But, uh, so one of the things that was really important to us to do with uh, our new apartment is to set up a prop wall for our various props, which I can show you. We have a corner full of many, many hoops. Prop pile A. As well as a whole bunch of my staves, and of course, uh, yeah. some fans, and a whole bunch of poi to go along with it. Now, at first we were thinking about using this wall space right here in between the TV and our kitchen. Um, and I think we're now starting to lean towards instead using this wall over here, kind of uh, entering into our living room. And instead using this space right here uh, to mount some gigantic three foot by six foot mirrors that I have been holding on to for many years now. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna get to the business of planning all that out. Before we dive in, I just want to take a moment to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can visit them all on the web by following the links down in the description of this video. Now, on with the show. Hey guys, so what we got here is I have a little notebook that I have basically traced out the walls. Uh, so this is the wall right next to the TV, and this is the wall in the hall way and everything and I've gone ahead and I've cut out uh, some shapes in made in, in paper that correspond to the size of Lydia's biggest hoops as well as roughly the size of her fans and uh, a near approximation of my double stabs right so what I'm using this for is as kind of uh, a sandbox to figure out how all these shapes are gonna fit together here this is um, I don't actually know what the scale is here, but I'm basically figuring that uh, every three uh, squares on this grid is equal to one foot, right? Uh, so this is my tool cabinet, and it's, you know, roughly, you know, a half a foot away from the edge, so I can stick it there. And now I can, say, stick in the hoops where I want them to go, just to get a, a rough idea of what the layout of this whole thing should be, right? So for instance, one approach could be that we have a really, really long um, kind of uh, a hook hanging out of the wall that'll hold all of the hoops together. And then in the center of them, we can have another hook that's gonna hold the fans up like so, right? Um, but yeah, because we don't really have another place to put them, um, I think we're leaning towards this wall right here because this wall is a better fit for our mirrors. In which case, I don't need to worry about the toolbox anymore, and I can instead put in the hoops on two separate hooks, which because it's in the hallway, we're gonna need to have, um, uh, which majigget? Because it's in the hallway, we're going to need to have shorter hooks overall, and kind of leaning towards something like this. The horizontal line right here is uh, the height of Lydia's shoulder, and I wanna make sure that I don't hang any props that she uses frequently any higher than her shoulder, because otherwise it might be a pain to access them. So this is kind of the rough idea of where we're going with this right now. Hey, so we're at the Home Depot, and we just spent a bunch of time looking at different options, and I think what we settled on is uh, these three two by four pegboards, and uh, we've got a whole bunch of hardware that fits inside of there, including um, these lovely little pieces that we're gonna hang poi from, um, and some really cool little baskets there that we're just gonna be able to uh, put miscellaneous props into and everything. So really excited about this now. Um, and now on to getting the pieces to uh, mount the pegboards on the wall. Hey, so we're home and we have a whole pile of parts to work with. Um, so yeah, here's basically uh, how we're gonna have to do this thing. 
So first things first, we want to find the studs on the wall. You can do this either with a commercially available stud finder from the hardware store or with smartphone apps. Once you've found those studs, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the what are called furring strips to the studs and to the wall using some drywall screws. The furring strips are one inch by two inch pieces of wood and these particular ones are about four feet wide. They're as wide as our pegboards which are two foot by four foot. We're using four different furring strips to anchor our pegboards to the wall, top and bottom for each one of them. The pegboards tile very nicely right on top of each other to look like one continuous piece. Now once we've got all of the pegboards drilled down to the wall we can start to put all of the different hangers that we acquired at the hardware store on it and then to put all the different tools that we have onto these different hangers. We experimented around with a bunch of different arrangements and one of the great things about using a pegboard is is that you can play around and move things if you so choose. Overall we're pretty happy with the results. Hey guys, so our prop wall turned out really, really beautifully and we're both really, really happy with it. Uh, we were also able to hang up our full-sized mirrors on the opposite wall. So uh, we have a lovely little flow area inside of our apartment now. So the total cost for this job was about like 60 bucks, somewhere thereabouts. Um, the pegboards right here are about $7 a piece, or at least they were at the Home Depot that we went to in uh, College Park. Um, so with three of them we wind up spending about $21 just on the pegboards alone and then the furring strips behind them come in eight foot lengths. We took two of them and chopped them in half and so they're like one or two dollars a piece I want to say. So just on the cost of the base materials and everything you're looking at probably somewhere in the neighborhood of like you know maybe 25 bucks if that. Um, where we really splurged was in getting all of the hooks and everything that go onto the wall. Um, these baskets in particular were a little expensive. Uh, we bought like a four pack of them and it cost 10 bucks. But you can get like um, uh, big packs of these little like two inch hooks. And these six inch hooks here are like a dollar or two a piece maybe. Um, so really it's up to you and what you want to put on the wall. We very deliberately overbought uh, in terms of options that we wanted to stick on the wall and everything because we wanted to be able to change our minds and uh, expand things as time went on. Uh, the one thing that I think we might change in the future about this is uh, we might get the prop well painted because uh, we have good friends that are artists and it'd be a great way to support them, number one. And number two, because we're going to be storing fire props against the wall, uh, it's, you know, a white pegboard so it might show soot. And if it's painted, that will show up a little bit less. Also because white pegboard is kind of ugly. Also because white pegboard is kind of ugly. But yeah, anyway, for right now, this we, we are happy with where we're at, and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on, uh, on this little adventure. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know down in the comment section of this video, and uh, we will do our best to answer them as best we can. <laughs> Yay! Is that Shiloh or Theo? That's Theo. That's Theo. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, have yourselves a good one. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.